You are watching Market Watch, the brief overview of the key events from the world of finance. The published OPEC report was aimed not only at providing general information about the situation on the oil market, but also at deterring sellers. After all, the report focuses on still high demand and mentions unjustified pessimism. Simply put, the cartel is trying to convince investors that the growth rate of the global economy remains high enough to increase the deficit, which in turn will push oil prices up. The market reaction was restrained, but demand still increased, allowing WTI quotes to return above $78 per barrel, ending the second trading day in the green zone. Gold also resumed growth, reacting to a change in the forecast from the international rating agency Moody's. The credit rating of the United States remained unchanged, but the outlook changed from stable to negative. In other words, one of the most reputable rating agencies predicts a slight increase in the probability that the United States will not be able to fulfill its obligations to service public debt on time. This is a really good bullish fundamental factor for gold, but short term. Therefore, an additional and preferably more fundamental driver is needed to resume a more powerful wave of growth. Shifting to the foreign exchange market, I will pay attention to the upcoming publication of the U.S. inflation report. Confirmation of its projected decline to 3.3% year-on-year may put pressure on the U.S. dollar. A slowdown in inflation to the forecasted value will sharply reduce the likelihood of an increase in the key interest rate. Moreover, in this case, investors will start discussing the date of easing the monetary policy of the Federal Reserve. But shortly before this release, the Eurozone will report on the change in GDP growth rates for the third quarter. There is a risk of a negative value, which is also negative for the Euro. Taking all this into account, today we can observe a noticeable increase in trading activity by the Euro to US dollar currency pair. The cryptocurrency market is also waiting for an important event that can become a really strong catalyst. We are talking about the decision of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission regarding a number of applications for the Bitcoin ETF creation. A positive decision will provoke an additional wave of growth, which may later result in an update of the historical maximum. While rejection is a strong bearish fundamental factor, so strong that it may end with an update of the current year's minimum. That's all I have. Follow the news carefully and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.